In this video, I'm going to run through some of my essential tips for player versus player fighting or PvP in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Some of these tips are big and some are quite minor, but they're all important in improving your overall player killing ability. This video is part of a series I'm creating on the best methods for being successful in PvP matches on Red Dead Online. Tip number one, change your settings away from the default. There are way too many things to cover in settings to go through them in this video, but if you click the link in the description or the pop-up on screen now, you'll be taken to my video on the essential PvP settings. I'd say the main one to change is combat buttons. Setting your thumb free from having to spam X or A to sprint makes a huge difference to your awareness in-game. With this setting, you'll sprint using your left analogue held down, which frees up your right thumb to rotate the camera to look for enemies. Anyway, it's all in that video. Tip 2. Pre-cock your gun. You may notice that when you spawn in or have just finished reloading that the next time you aim your gun, your player clocks it before firing. Although this only takes a split second, this is valuable time that you are unable to fire your gun when you come across an opponent. Not only does this make you slower in killing your enemy, it also gives them the advantage and a chance to kill you. Every life, as you spawn in or after a reload, just aim down your sights straight away, then you won't have to do this animation when it comes to trying to actually shoot another player. Tip number three, switch between your medium and short range weapons. Of course, this is a rule that should be applied in every PvP game you play, but it's very important for Red Dead. When you see a situation that might lend itself to a close range weapon, make sure you quickly flick to your shotgun and also make it an easy switch by having your shotguns either at the dual wheel position with two sawn offs or in the bottom long arm slot on the weapon wheel. Eventually, after you get used to having your shotgun in this position, switching to it will just become muscle memory. Tip number four, Play the objective. Yes, it might be tempting to just try and get as many kills as possible online, but if you play the objective of the game, the kills will come and so will the win. If you're playing hostile territory, capture and defend the objective. If you're playing name your weapon, adjust your style to use weapons that get you more points. Over the next couple of weeks, I'll be reading videos that break down the best methods for playing each game mode within Showdown series. You'll find every one I've done so far in the description below. At the time of recording this, I've only got Name Your Weapon done, but keep an eye out for the rest of the game modes as they all have little intricacies and tactics that are really useful. Tip number five, dive to survive. It's a well-known tactic already, but if you're aiming at an enemy and know they're lining up a headshot on you, hit square or X on Xbox to dive to one side. Doing this breaks the auto aim of the other player and gives you a chance at getting the kill on them rather than the other way around. Although there are loads of other additional points I could make in this video, I wanted to leave you with the last tip, which is tip number six, be prepared. Be it buying special ammo, cleaning your guns, or changing your ability cards and your loadout before a showdown game, preparing before fighting gives you the best chance at performing well in PvP matches. Cooking food at your camp or crafting tonics will help get you out of those difficult situations where you find yourself with low health and putting your money towards upgrading your weapons will also help you out when you're getting kills. And the key point to remember when preparing to play PvP matches is to clean your guns. Get the gun oil out and just have a little bit of a scrub. And there you go. Those are six essentials for being as effective as possible when it comes to fighting other players in Red Dead Online. If you have any tips of your own on this topic, then please leave them below and I'll pin the best one to the top. Or you can leave your tips or find yourself a posse in my Discord server. The link to that is below. I wanted to make this video just to cut down on time in future videos where I specifically go into each game mode within Showdown series. Rather than wasting your time in every single video going through those six tips, I thought I'd just do it in one video and refer it back when I make the ones in the future. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the straight to the point style of this video. I'm James Cookie. Cheers.